Uh, what's good, YouTube? It's Will, Mr. Bad Guy. Um, I am not supposed to be doing a vlog right now. I am supposed to be working on YouTube. Um, I have to give a shout out to Zero Nine Tran, T R A N A N M. They uh, sent me a video with the little child, Brendan Foster. Um, I'm going to be clear and be honest about everything. I know I've said it many times before, but I love YouTube. And when people get tired of hearing this, <laughs> I'm tired too. When uh, Tanya TKO had uh, did a video vlog being very nasty and very just disgusting. Uh, people don't understand that when you fight for a dream or when you fight for what you believe in or what you know what you can do and for someone who you think that is your friend go along and do something like that so disgusting when you you know really do care about them and you care about who they are and their success and everything do something like that they don't know no one knows how about people's minds nobody knows what affects them you know sometimes we are so high and so up in the world that we don't know what is going on we don't know what is happening when someone fights for a dream fight for a soul we all on youtube have no right at all to attack one another partner or unpartner you do not go and try to disfigure a person's dream or their lives just because you know you can and it was really disgusting how Tanya went along with it when she didn't have to go along with it that way and I didn't see her as that way. But the real reason why I'm back is because of Brendan Foster. Um, a little boy who basically had passed away and you know, he he had a soul. He has a soul. A little child I mean a child's innocent is so beautiful. It's so amazing, you know. Even when I look at my son, I see his innocence. I'm like, wow. But um, as I was watching the video, he started crying. And they asked him, why did he cry? And uh, he um, said, uh, because people are giving up. And that really hit my heart all the way through because many people on YouTube don't understand I was going to give up. I was really done because, you know, even though it's negative, even though as I'm seeing with three, five, seven guns, I'm seeing with tiny TKO, there are people who don't see the wrong they have done, and basically build up lies, and people don't understand that it has, it has weakened. I mean, even though I may be big will and I'm, and I'm big and I'm strong and all that, and even though Will Mr. Bad Guy is a funny name, but you know, that, that is something that I had to say that Tanya TKL threw a destiny at me of becoming a bad person because so many believed her and not even really looking at a whole lot of things. And it really did affect me. It affected my soul because it affected everything. I'm going to be honest with you. It affected me completely to the point to where I, I hated YouTube. I hated everything about it because of her, because of what she brought forth, even with 357 Guns, what they did. And my retaliation is, you know, I'm okay, I'm gonna come this this some comes this video and everything like that, and I'm gearing up for like nothing but for pure revenge and hate inside of my soul for these people. That you know, many people keep saying, you know, why? Because you know, you know, my, my music, my art, my talent is something that I have. I mean, I could expect someone with no videos to say something to me, but someone who is a YouTuber like the rest of us doing what they do and attacking other YouTubers. This is why YouTubers. Is, is very is YouTube is being very, very distasteful right now you know we're supposed to be a community but there is no unity among us you know and we don't help each other out like we're supposed to we don't say each other name because we feel like oh well it's my site I built myself you know I hate when people say that because you know what you didn't build yourself you were just there okay with every hit with every comment with every rating it was building you with everyone who subscribes to you, they were helping build you. With everyone that shot your name out,
they were helping build you. So for you to say you built your own damn site, you got to be out your goddamn mind. You were just there. Okay? When I see people say that, I mean, so it's so disgusting because these are people who are subscribers, people who entrust us, people who listen to us, people who who subscribe to us, people who leave comments, and you know, not the negative comments, but people who inspire us to keep pushing forward, you know what I'm saying, who love our things, and for us to get out of character, when you see Will Mr. Bad Guy, the people already know what I'm going to do, <laughs> so you know, but when I see someone like Tanya TKO, I never expected that from her at all, because I thought that she was this pure person, but she's not. You know what I'm saying? I, I never saw any of her naked vlogs or anything like that at first. But, you know, seeing it now, she's showing something else. A lot of people are showing different sides, but are just trying to erase the bad things they've done to people. You cannot erase anything bad that you've done if it still lives with inside that individual. You know, that's why I thought about it when Brendan Foster said, at 357 Guns, if you're watching this, let me tell you something. I'm not going to make a diss song to you. I'm not. Don't get it twisted because I get in your ass. But I'm not. Because you're a waste of damn time. You are the, you know, when you speak of certain things, you, you totally forget that you started this stuff along with Tanya and everything. And I know y'all don't give a fuck. I know y'all don't care. But I'm going to be humble for Brandon. I'm not going to do it. I don't care. I'm too bad for that. Because they look at my music and look at your music. We ain't got to tell who won. It's very distasteful. You know, and it took a little child to, to make me look into a lot of things in my life and I know that I, I always do people right I always have you know I've always given the love but I never got love back and I let something like I let someone like Tanya like Guns like many other people who followed and listened to them when I first going to confront me first and seeing what is going on I let them tear the, the goodness out of me completely to where I lost source of goodness I lost goodness in people on YouTube I, I trust no one you know I trust nobody I mean even I saw somebody subscribe to guns and comment on guns and I was subscribed to Tanya you know I just basically just was really cautious about everybody on YouTube and you know I already knew that I came on here to be a motivator innovator to, be, to bring my music to bring my talent bring my comedy to reach all and I thought so positive thoughts about YouTube as YouTube community as YouTube people to come together as the partners come together with the YouTubers, as the YouTubers come together with the partners, but as you see, there is a war between us. There is, regardless of what you want to say. A lot of people do not deserve to be YouTube partners. I'm not going to say it like it is, like my, my boy YouTube News said it. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people do not belong doing certain things they're doing because of how they treat people when they get a certain level in YouTubeness. You did not make your page. It was the subscribers. It was the people who subscribe to your site. They left comments. They rate you. They made you for what you are. You were just there. A person with no hits and no comments and no subscribers is just there. Even though when a certain individual like myself say your name, just because that person doesn't want to subscribe to my site, they'll go to your site. And they'll like, probably like you or love you and take your video and shift it to a whole bunch of other people. See, people don't understand that. I understand it quite clearly. Somebody cannot, may not love me, but I know they can love this person. And the way they love this person is I don't say nothing or try to kill this person or destroy this person in a negative way. You know, the thing with me and Tanya was the thing between me and Tanya. Nobody had to say nothing else. That was between us. And what she did and how she did was very distasteful. But that's something she's going to have to learn her life. Not me. But guns, I'm not coming at you, man. I'm through with you. Right now, I'm washing my hands of both of you. Because, you know, y'all going y'all gonna to learn. And I know some people call me a punk for backing down on you. But I can't do it because of Brandon. Because I started seeing shit. I started seeing a lot of stuff that goes on. You know? And, 
you know, I still feel like I feel about racism. They ain't gonna never change. <laughs> but, uh, you know, mm -mm, I can't give up. So, uh, y'all can subscribe. Y'all can leave a comment. It's up to y'all. I'm out.